What's going on guys? Uh, if you may may not have noticed uh, in my last couple of videos, a few things are looking a bit different at the moment. That's because I've just moved apartments and now that I'm about 95, I guess 95-ish percent moved in, everything's all mostly set up. I thought I'd take you through a bit of a studio tour, I'd take you through the guitars, the camper, everything else I've got in my studio at the moment. Um, and then if you have any other questions that uh, I haven't covered in this video, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. But uh, first off, we'll start with the guitars. So this is the rack I have at the moment. Um, I'm missing a uh, my Sterling Access, which is in shop at the moment. But um, I'll take you through all of these guitars one by one. First up is my Ernie Ball Music Man JP15 7 string. I got this guitar, I believe it was towards the end of last year. I uh, got it from Tour Bus Entertainment in Geelong. Uh, Daniel hooked me up with a crazy deal, so I was pretty stoked that I was able to get my hands on this guy here. Um, music Man guitars are pretty tough to get a hold of here in Melbourne, so I was pretty stoked that I was able to come across this guy. So, huge shout out to Daniel for hooking me up with this beast. Next up, as I'm sure you've seen in many, many videos of mine, is my only one Music Man Majesty. I've got this guy. I think it was mid last year uh, after searching high and low for this particular model I finally found one in a Facebook group on oh, clearly Facebook um, which was the Ernie Music Man group uh, so a huge shout out to Ben uh, who's in that group that hooked me up with this guy it came all the way from New Zealand which I was pretty stoked about so one of the guitars I can tick off my bucket list now that I've got it so I was pretty stoked with it Next up is my Sterling by Music Man Stingray. This is actually one of my first, um, I guess, somewhat Music Man guitars that I actually was able to get my hands on. I've been wanting to try an actual Music Man version of this guitar, but back when I picked this guy up, I couldn't afford the proper version, so I had to pretty much settle with the Sterling version, which I'm still pretty stoked on. It's a, an amazing guitar. Um, I got it from DW Music in... I I think it's Canberra, uh, correct me if I'm wrong Australians, but um, yeah, I was pretty stoked that I got this guy, it was a pretty good deal as well, which I'm happy about, so I keep this guy in uh, drop D. And last but not least is my USA PRS Custom 24 10 top, I've had this guy since 2012, so out of all my guitars that I've managed to collect and sell within the past nearly decade, uh, this guy has survived most of the culling which uh, speaks for itself just goes to show how well these instruments are made but this was my first uh, proper PRS that I ever bought and it's managed to stick around so and it's clearly missing the string right there which I haven't gotten around to restringing yet but um, this was my main workhorse for prob my bur probably first 30 videos I believe um, on my channel so I definitely put it through its paces, but I've played many shows all over Melbourne um, with this guy, and it's yeah definitely held up quite well. So I was pretty pretty stoked on that. But it doesn't get too much use now that I've got the Music Man uh, guitars in my arsenal. But yeah, I'm pretty stoked with it. So good old faithful this one is. So all my guitar tones are achieved by this Kemper Profile rack, which I've had for the past, I believe four years now, it's quite possibly the best investment I've ever made um, with any piece of gear that I've owned. Um, now that I live in an apartment, it's not really, like, it's not easy to play through a tube amp, considering obviously noise restrictions and whatnot, so having this guy has been an absolute godsend. Most of my tones, well actually no, all my tones, sorry, are from SDL tones, so it's a mix of, uh, we've got the Archon uh, high gain channel from um, Callum McGregor and then I mix that with an EQ'd, uh, a bit of an EQ'd profile from Brian Hood, the Mesa, Mesa Boogie mid gain bright channel I think it's the se um, second channel on a Mesa Boogie um, not quite sure so don't quote me on that and my clean channel is just a Mesa Boogie clean from Andrew Wade. Um, I found it to be really nice and chimey mixed in with my majesty um, with a bit of a piezo blended in with the um, magnet pickups but 
yeah, I'm quite happy with this profile. It's nothing too fancy, just a bit of reverb, a bit of delay, and I've got a bit of an EQ on there as well. So, if you have any other questions with uh, my tones, feel free to leave a comment down below. So, this is what the uh, desk setup looks like. I've got my JBL speakers obviously either side of me, and obviously got a dual monitor set up there with my interface kicking right there. But um, the speakers are JBL MK2 uh, 8 inch speakers, I believe. Uh, oh, nope, sorry. Um, JBL 3 MK2, yep, there we go. I'm not sure if you could see that, but uh, yeah, so they're, I believe they're 8 inch speakers. I picked these guys up, I believe it was towards the end of last year, it was just before my um, JST video um, came out. Uh, I picked these guys up because my Mackie speakers broke. The ones, uh, I believe that was, they were called the CR6 or something like that, but don't quote me on that. Um, yeah, I had those ones for a little while, but I thought I'd decide to actually upgrade to some proper um, studio monitors, which, to be quite honest with you, uh, have been quite an amazing investment. The tonal differences between these and my previous speakers are like can't even put into words what the difference has been like, so I highly, highly suggest them um, high quality speakers if you can afford them. Uh, here is my interface. I run a M Audio M Track 2x2 ser uh, C Series interface. Uh, so basically, plug my guitar into this guy, and that runs into the, my Kemper with a TRS cable uh, and then obviously I plug my guitar in there as well and then that just feeds into uh, Logic Pro X uh, which is my main actually, yeah actually it's my main um, door so I don't use I actually I don't really use any plugins within the door because most of it comes from the camper but all my recordings and everything are done through this program here and then I edit with Final Cut Pro X. So if you guys want to see how I record and how I edit things, um, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'm sure I'll do a, a video on that as well because I've had a few people ask me how I edit my videos, how I go about recording covers and whatnot. So if you are more interested in that, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll do a bit more of a dedicated video on that. But pretty much uh, my entire studio setup is just that there really. So um, it's a bit different from my last bunch of videos that I've done because obviously I've moved apartments but if you guys do have any other questions feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll try and answer the best of my abilities so other than that I uh, hope you guys enjoy